Today we are doing a oh no. Today we are doing a video on Scratch Band. Today I gotta leave. My my brother's being annoying. So um, what we're gonna do is um, I have Scratch open here, and um, I'm going to real quick go into my room, and then I'm gonna show you how to make a scrolling platformer. Okay, so a normal platformer is easy to make, right? I bet you've all made one, but scrolling platformers can be a bit harder. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make a scrolling platformer today. So first thing you're going to want to do is change this guy to um change this guy to the character that you want. So I'm just going to make a extremely simple version where I just drag a black cube like this. Right? That's going to save us some time on both ends. Now, we're going to create another sprite, and this is where the code gets in. We actually don't put any code in on sprite 1, but for sprite 2, just design whatever you want, but make sure you're on 400% zoom. This way, you'll be able to see how big the player sees it. So say I create a square this big. When I'm actually playing the game, that's how big it's going to be compared to my character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this really small because this is going to be the floor. And I'm going to stretch it out long across the bottom. And the reason why I'm making this on the bottom is you can actually make it anywhere you want. I'm just putting this on the bottom because that way we get the most space. So just expand it as far as you can. If you do this, that's okay. Just make sure the very edge is visible because then you can just grab it and drag it and then grab it and drag it. And then we're just going to do this. And I'll see you once I have designed a level for the character. So, yeah. So now that we're back, so I have this, um, I have this short parkour course for the player. It's not 100% complete, but we're going to use it. So now we're going to go over here, back into costumes, and simply press this button, okay? That's the only button we're going to want to press. Then we're going to want to click back into here, drag a when flag clicked block, Switch costume to costume two, and then wait zero point zero 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 one seconds, and before that, right before it, we're going to want a um set size two, and we're gonna want to set this to four hundred. So remember how we set the zoom to four hundred earlier. Now we're setting it to 400 here. Now, now we want to drag a switch costume to, and then switch it to costume one. And now what this is going to do is it's going to do that, but it's still blank because our character is still up in the middle of the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. So you're going to want to go over to one of my platforming games and drag this script in to the background. And you may be saying, hey, what? that's weird, because that's going to do the exact opposite of what you want. And that's why we're just going to reverse every single number except for a couple in here. So... I'm going to pause the recording and come back once I have 
all the numbers switched out, okay? And the recording won't load the tab, so we're just going to have to wait a bit. Okay, there we go. So, see you guys once I've switched all the numbers. So, we have all, well, most of the numbers change. Wait, so we're being yummy in the head now. So, we don't want, we don't want this to be changed. We want all those, <laughs> all these orange numbers to be changed. But, um, yeah, we've changed basically everything. Just don't change the set XV to XV and then that. Don't change those, okay? It'll still okay. work perfectly fine, and it won't work if you do it the other way. So now, it's pretty laggy because we have the recording software on. But now, I think you can move. Oh, wait. I think we have to change this one number. 0 0.9 and then 1 and this should work I hope what is there any color black anywhere else where did we hold on guys you should make it so it's always moving, and it's just like, it's Geometry Dash. I gotta, I might actually make a tutorial on that, but I got to figure this out. Maybe change this one? No one's gonna watch this. They might. If you're watching this right now. Well, thanks. Yep, I, I think, yeah, it works. It's working. Oh, it's just not quite working. Hmm. Perfect. It's eating cucumbers. So the gravity works. So no, I know. I'm vegetarian. I really hope this works. No, it's not. When you're in, when you're in a hack helicopter, you can't really eat meat. Yeah, so for some reason, I think it's because I switched the other stuff around. So I think we just need to switch that one other thing. These are just like snoz cumbers. Like soup is gross. Soup is gross? Yeah. You don't know who soup is? So let's see if that works. If it doesn't, we're just gonna have to change both and hope it works. I really hope it works. Please work. Oh, I think it's working. Perfect. Except you go through things. So. I think this down here needs to change back. Wait, no, because then that's going down forever instead of going up forever. So it should just be one. One is zero. No, because then there would be no gravity. Please. Just do, okay, we gotta stop the game because it's lagging this out too much. Just switch that to one, I hope. Please work. Oh, we didn't switch this last one. I think that's why. That might have been the case this whole time. Nope. 
Why won't it detect when we hit? Minus one, though. Why won't it detect if we hit the... Because it's just like they're touching. Change rod by negative five. Change no, rod touching by black. Five. Change y by ne negative or by one. Go, do those need to be negative? No, I put them. I put them like that, and I know how to do this. I'm probably gonna save this script after, so I don't have to make it every single game I make. So let's see if this works. I really hope it does. No, it doesn't. Why well, won't it detect if? Here, maybe we need to do. Maybe we need to do set X. Maybe because maybe we're just going so fast that like we just phase through the walls because of X Y. It actually sounds like I'm chomping an apple. X, V, and Y, V. Yeah, we're going way slower now. Nope. It slowed us down. But it doesn't really work. Then you're gonna be like super slow going down. Oh well, yeah, so I guess guys. I'm just gonna go to my other scrolling platformer game and copy the script from that one. So if you really need the script for this, go over to that game and copy it, okay? I'm just gonna go over right there right now. See you real. Greeks. Oh, the dude Yeats, the other guy. But um I really hope this works. I think it might. All I heard is just he skips to here and he yeets the other guy. <laughs> I think this is the one. Nope. This isn't the one. It's the other one. This one. Right here. It's a pretty big script. Boom. <laughs> Just expand. So, let's see if this works. I really hope this works and it's not just lag. Oh, yes, it works. So, guys, just go on to my other game mm -hmm. and check out my other script. It works. And this is a really cool game to play. It's not laggy, okay? It only appears laggy, but that's because we're recording it and my software is laggy software. So, laggy software. Guys, I think I'm a robot. Um, close up on a cucumber. Right here, I'm eating it. Ben, no one needed to see that. It does shake sometimes, but should be perfectly good. And I made a little slide over here for dude guy. And, ooh! One question. Does it work? No. But, that's my little tutorial. It's just a little bit of code, and then, like, go over to my other game, Scrolling Platformer 2. And, yeah, it's not always this laggy. Also, you can make a backdrop if you want. Make it say, bye, guys. Well, not now. See you guys. Later. Ben, why did you press the... Freaking six key. And I press the Y button. <laughs> okay. See you guys next time. Next time. <laughs>